So how did you make the move from sort of Hollywood Hollywood to conservative Hollywood? Because yeah. it's not quite the same thing as we have found out multiple times. Well, no, Hollywood practices. Hollywood pays. <laughs> conservative Hollywood <laughs> does not. Fact check, true. You know, during the George W. Bush administration, with that group of men who, who I was getting the opportunity to kind of come of age with, uh, because I had this sort of pastoral role in the community, you know, I, I also engaged with with the guys on worldview, on broader worldview, and I would always sort of be arguing the conservative points of view. I had become a conservative because uh, I went to college for two years. You know, I'm very anti-college, but I went to college for two years at a, at a junior college in Leveland, Texas, that has a, a commercial music program. They literally teach you how to play bluegrass, or they teach you how to play and a bunch of country stars have gone through there. Again, Natalie Maines of the Dixie Chicks, Leanne Womack, uh, uh, several others over the years. And while I was there, I had this professor who was ostensibly supposed to teach me how to play the piano. If you've ever heard me play the piano, you know that he failed mightily at his job. Um, but I had this private lesson with him twice a week, and we would argue about politics and religion. And he was very libertarian. He, he would hand out copies of these books by uh, Richard Maybury called whatever happened to Penny Candy and whatever happened to Justice, which are sort of easy libertarian tracts, you know. And um, I disagreed with almost all of his philosophy, and I would argue with him. And I, I never realized that he was winning the arguments until I got a couple years down the road, got to L.A., and realized that I was taking his position instead of the position that I had formerly had. And so, you know, in that way, he really helped me discover my beliefs and now I was trying to help these guys, you know, refine some of their beliefs. Uh, and as a result, everyone knew that I was very conservative. You know, one of my buddies at that time was on a sitcom on ABC, which was great because the rest of us were dirt poor. And you could go over there and eat for free. You know, craft service on a film set or a TV set is amazing. There's just constant food and catered meals. So I would go over and we'd play Halo up in his dressing room. And then I would like hide water bottles in my pocket, in my shirt pocket, you know, leave. <laughs> And I had a, a Bush Cheney 2004 bumper sticker at that time on my truck. And I would park right behind his sort of supercar on the lot. And one day I'm walking up the stairs, you know, with like, I mean, peanuts and bottled water, a turkey leg, that, <laughs> all hidden under my coat. And this wonderful actress, you know, who I had grown up watching on a show with my father and was really kind of starstruck and probably love struck by, sees me coming up the stairs and she says, hey, uh, real quick, is that your pickup that parks right behind? And I said, yeah, yeah. She goes, you're aware that there's a Bush Cheney bumper sticker on the back of your truck? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, I, I put it there. She goes, oh, you got balls of steel, kid. <laughs> <laughs> and until she said it, I honestly didn't know. I was too naive to know that you just can't do that in this town. And sort of like when you learn a new word, you hear the new word everywhere. I started hearing all the bias now all around me all the time. How political is a film set? How political is a television set? How the number one topic of conversation on film and television sets is politics. And that may sound obvious now because in the, in the Trump era, everything is so political. It, but the world had not yet become political. Only Hollywood was political like this at the time. And I realized pretty early on that that was going to create problems for me because I... I'm just too ornery and probably too stupid to play along. You know, I've, I've got that Texas streak in me where I, I say what I think and, you know, damn the torpedoes kind of a thing. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and share it with all of your friends.